Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. All right. Okay, guys, a little bit of a celebration because we have finally reached vlog 100. Yay! <laughs> so, um, as I said in the last one, this one is going to be a little bit of a looky backy celebratory kind of vlog. I mean, uh, and I don't know if when I sort of started doing this, I thought, hey, at some point I'm going to reach 100 vlogs. I think. I thought maybe to begin with, if this was as unsuccessful as it has ended up being, uh, that I would probably, you know, stop doing it and, and give up at some point. But honestly, even if nobody's watching, I do enjoy doing this. So for now, at least I have plans to keep going. And if that, you know, allows it to pick up in the future, great. If it remains as is, then that's fine too, because at the moment, it's still something that I'm doing because I enjoy doing it so yeah there's that <laughs> um for those of you who don't know um because i'm not sure if i have really talked about the whole story as to why i sort of started doing the vlog in the first place but you know the the reason i sort of started doing the vlog in the in the first place was because i just released my first book in a few years, uh, which is this book here, Echo, which uh, came out last summer. Um, and I was looking for a way of letting people know who I am, uh, trying to get people interested in the book, um, basically, you know, trying to, to promote myself and my work for as low a cost as possible. Um, you know, I have no budget because I'm a minimum wage worker. <laughs> Uh, trying to be a struggling author. Um, so yeah, the, the idea when I sort of first started was basically just to sort of get my name out there and get people, you know, to know who I am and maybe help get my writing career started. Um, obviously, as an experiment, that has not gone too well, but uh, never mind. Because <laughs> I have still found something that I love and I enjoy doing and over the course of the last year, I have published a second book, which, um, considering this is this, this is book three and book four in terms of what I've published for, for those who, who've sort of kept up with the, the various things that I've said, um, I believe there was like a two, three year gap between the publishing of my first book, which is, um, Time Forgets, which is the first part of the Blood Friendship and Marriage series, which still needs to be published and finished before I publish. Um, and then the release of Zero Conformity, which is the first book in the Realms of Reality series. Um, obviously both different ways of trying to sort of, you know, get people interested in my work. And, um, and then there was, there was no publishing at all done by me for a good five, six-ish years whilst I was dealing with a whole load of life stuff that was going on um, until I finally got back on the horse. I mean, I'd, I'd still been writing, I'd been writing constantly, but I'd sort of kind of given up on the whole pursuing being an author thing, um, partly because all of this life stuff that's going on was quite stressful and I needed to sort of focus um, on getting myself through that, on, on getting myself into a, a sort of a better place, um, which I, I kind of didn't <laughs> when I went around to, to publishing uh, Echo. Actually, there was a lot of stuff going on at that point in time. It's probably one of the lowest points um, I kind of reached uh, when I sort of finally found that, that motivation to kind of go, you know what, this this is still my dream. This, is, this has always been my dream and the, the person sort of stopping me now is, is kind of me. Um, so yeah, very much the, the last year has been a learning curve for me trying to, to find a way of, of making my dream work in and I, I, behind the scenes from, from all this, the vlogs and stuff that I do, I have tried various experiments, I've tried various things, um, again, all sort of low cost things. And I'm now sort of reaching the point where I'm starting to think to myself, it might be worth trying to invest a little bit more money um, into this than I have been. And, 
trying to find ways of, of getting proper promotion going behind my work because I do believe in my work at the end of the day and I think part of doing these, these vlogs and, and sort of talking about my writing and talking about how much I, I love what, what I do it makes me realise just how much that, this is what I want to do this is who I want to be so you know I, I'd love um, I'd love to find a way of, of making that actually work and that might mean taking a few more chances and, and investing a little bit more money into the situation as and when I can because again I'm still a minimum wage worker and I have health conditions which means that I can't work the, the hours that I necessarily need to work in order to afford all the things that I would love to be able to afford. Um, that doesn't mean that it's impossible for me to do this, it just makes it a lot harder and you know, I have to sort of take calculated risks and I have to sort of very much decide, well, you know, if I spend this little bit of money here, how is that going to affect things and will that affect things? And, you know, I have over the course of the last year done little bits of, of paid promotion here and there, but it's all been within a budget. And it's all been very tightly controlled and it, it's, you know, I'm sort of now reaching the point of going, well, it, it does help. Um, maybe not so much as I, I would like because I haven't found the method that works for me yet um, but it's worth you know and, and very much what I'm doing now is, is sort of looking into um, ways and, and, and things that I can do again still on a budget um, but I've expanded that budget a little bit more and I'm, I'm kind of going you know what I really want this to work I really want to be a writer for a living that is that is my goal and you know, the, the idea that not only have I, I published a book last year, I published a book this year, and I'm very much planning to publish another book next year, although I'm still currently writing that book. <laughs> but I'm determined it's going to be my next book. You know, if I can get to the point where I'm turning out a book a year or more than a book a year, then that's really going to help because sometimes, you know, flooding the market might, might actually be the way of breaking into the market. <laughs> And I've got a huge, huge backlog of books. I could totally flood the market if I wanted to. But, you know, right now it's sort of like, okay, I've got, I've got goals and I've got plans. And there are certain things that I'm now considering that I might be more willing to do in order to get to where I want to be. Um, but at the same time, there are other life goals and, and life choices that I'm, I'm making and uh, deciding upon that are going to affect you know, just how much of a budget I can put into certain things and, and where I'm willing to spend money and where I'm not willing to spend money because at the end of the day, you know, anything you invest in, in your career as a writer, you want to eventually sort of get back <laughs> in terms of book sales and, 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 and everything else. So, yeah, taking opportunities where, where I see the opportunities and various bits and pieces like that it's it's important and it's important and I, I need to keep the momentum going even if it's just focusing on getting the book that I'm currently writing finished and then publish next year that you know that would be an amazing achievement especially because this book oh my god this book I love this book <laughs> it, it, it's the companion to this book um so of course I love the book um and it's just you know I didn't I didn't sort of think, um, so I mean, you know, looking back at the beginning of, of last year and everything I was going through at the beginning of last year, I didn't think I would be sitting here now kind of going, you know what, I'm just vlogging for the sake of vlogging because it's something that makes me happy, but it's also something where I can talk about my love and my passion for my writing and, you know, hopefully one day you know, this is something that people will look back on and go, yeah, love that writer. Um, look at all this sort of, you know, catalogue of stuff that she's, she's left us. Um, but, you know, you know, probably not. <laughs> I'm probably only ever going to be mediocrely successful, <laughs> if, if anything. <laughs> um, but I certainly didn't think, you know, when I started doing this vlog that I would still be doing it you know 100 vlogs later I would still find things to to talk about and I know I've started re-going over some of the earlier stuff but some of those earlier vlogs are very quiet and very long and you know if 
people suddenly decide that they're interested in this channel, it might be nice to sort of not make them go back and have to watch quite so many vlogs to understand what's going on. <laughs> or, you know, who knows? Um, but yeah, no, it's, I'm, I'm very much at a point where doing this channel is something that I'm doing very much for myself, um, rather than as a way of, of promoting my books and, and, and promoting my work, because I know it's not working for that. Um, but it is working as something that I enjoy doing, as something that I can say, look, I am doing this, this is something that I do in my spare time, and apparently I know I'm a hobby vloggist. <laughs> and when you have to spend as much time talking to doctors as I do, they like it when it sounds like you have hobbies. <laughs> they don't like the truth where you're actually an introvert who spends more time watching YouTube and writing than doing anything else. <laughs> so when it sounds like you have something else going on in your life. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, so it's it's kind of it's kind of that I think. Um, that's why, you know, sort of acknowledging that this is vlog hundred and kind of talking a little bit about, you know, how I've reached this point is, you know, it's kind of worth it to me because I think, you know, I think when I sort of started this, I was still sort of coming out of that slump that I'd, I'd been in, that emotional sort of down point I'd been in because, you know, with all the health stuff that I sort of triggered the whole pulling back from, from trying to pursue my dream, um, I, I then, you know, the emotional absolute depth glow that kind of reignited it, it, it almost seems kind of strange when I think about it now, but, it, you know, that I had to sort of drop even lower than, than I was because I was sort of happy, you know, despite all the health stuff that was going on, I was sort of happy and then a whole bunch of sad stuff happened and that kind of changed everything and kind of forced me to start moving forward more than anything else. I think it, it sort of told me that how things were and, and, and where I was was not good enough for me. It was not, you know, and is not, you know, how my life should necessarily be at this point. And that's not saying that I'm unhappy at this moment in time, I know I've got a job that I enjoy most of the time. Yes, my health issues do interfere with my life a lot, but I'm getting to a point of being in control of them again. And, you know, that's after coming through a year where I've been really unwell with it as well. So, <laughs> great. <laughs> um, you know, I've got a family that love me. I've got friends who are supportive of me. I don't socialise with them as much as I probably should. But again, I am an introvert. So, <laughs> you know, there, there is that to it. And, you know, there, there are definitely certain things and certain ways in which my life could be better. But where my life is now is a good place. And part of what has made it such a good place is been doing these vlogs and... Yes, I know nobody really watches them, but that's not the point. Um, and it's exactly like I said at the one year anniversary. It's much more important that I am doing this to me and that I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it than it is that it's doing anything for my career as a writer because there are always other things I can do for my career as a writer to get me noticed, to get me known, to, to get people to start buying my work. and. I need to focus on on getting that done, and in the meantime, I can just enjoy vlogging. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I do enjoy vlogging, and for as long as I can keep coming up with topics, for as long as I keep enjoying doing this, then I'm going to keep going doing this. Um, I don't know if I will reach 200, might not, um, but if I do, that would be amazing, and if I don't, then you know, at least, at least I made it to the 100 mark, at least I've been doing this for over a year, I think maybe a year, year and a half-ish at this point, um, I don't, I don't remember when my year anniversary was, my memory is shocking, <laughs> and you know, 
I, I released two books in two books. Um, one which triggered doing the vlogs to begin with, and one which you guys have sort of been keeping up with because I've been talking about it um, on these vlogs um, over the course of the last, I suppose, last year now. I think I first mentioned that this was going to be my next release this time last year. Um, maybe Decemberish last year, I, I don't remember exactly, but it definitely amongst the things that I talked about this time last year was the plan to release another book, and I did it. <laughs> I, I did it later than I'd originally planned, but I did it. <laughs> and to be honest, it coming out when it came out was probably the best thing for it, because if it, you know, if I hadn't had that delay on it, if I hadn't had all that additional time editing it and working on it and refining it I wouldn't be writing my current project and I wouldn't be going okay this is my next release and I'm definitely 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 fingers crossed planning to to get another book out next year and hopefully it's be really the one that I'm currently working on <laughs> the one that I'm currently writing because you know that would just be amazing and you know at the end of the day this world is sort of becoming a bit of a testimony or a documentation of my progress as a writer. Um, so if for nothing else, you know, I'll be able to look back on this one day and go, that's where it all started. That's, that was my leaping off point. That was, you know, the thing that drove me to, to where I am now which is hopefully hopefully in the future a successful author um so yeah um thank you those of you out there who are watching this for keeping with me for 100 vlogs um you know there's definitely two or three people who who definitely watch them regularly so <laughs> thank you very much you two or three people um so Next time, I'm going to start a little two-part series that I only sort of decided about earlier because I realised I didn't have anything on December yet, so I had to go and write the December vlogs, um, of the topics for the December vlogs, and I decided that the first topic I sort of thought about picking could be split into two parts rather easily, and it is going to be character health. That's going to be the overall topic for the next two vlogs and I'm breaking it down into physical health and mental health or mental and emotional health um, just because I think those are two very they're connected topics but they are two very different topics and they do sort of have very different ideas and, and everything else behind them and to be honest talking about health in general is a very complex thing and I was almost tempted to maybe split it into three just to try and cover everything that can that can go on when you're talking about you know health of, of your characters <laughs> um so yeah <laughs> to, next week will be the start of a two-part on health and it will be looking at the physical health of my characters um and how i, I deal with the challenges um therein <laughs> she says <laughs> um so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little mini celebration. Um, hopefully you're all looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.